y'all Jeannie Means here and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a introduction of sorts to my new Let's Play um, Meet the Millers. We met the Miller family originally back with Always Autumn um, cast and build video that I did for Autumn Looks um, and I said at the time that I'd planned on using this family in the Cats and Dogs expansion for a Let's Play and so I am currently in video making them over into a new file um, because there was so many issues with their home and the custom content that it was used to create their home from that previous video um, I wasn't able to really play them very much they kept um, they kept having error messages like every second and it was just overwhelmingly annoying and I just couldn't deal with it. So what I did was I saved them to the gallery, I brought them to a new save and I just dumped them into the game where I don't have very much custom content. I'm trying to go for more of a Maxis match feel in this save file. So that's why I had to give them a little bit of a makeover but I ultimately think they still re retained their main characteristics and they still have have um, the charm that they had before and they still have kind of the autumn feel because it is autumn still and um, I will be redoing them again as well as soon as Christmas is near. We'll be decorating their house for the holidays and I'm really excited about that. So um, like I said, I'm making them over with the limited custom content that I have and moving them into a lot here in Brindleton Bay. So um, I moved them here and then I decide not to put the house here and I thought that I, um, yeah, here we are. I got to where I decided to move their home. Um, I found a um, inspiration photo on Pinterest of the house that I wanted to build for them and this is a uh, a little bit of a bigger lot. I probably didn't need such a big lot, but I wanted the view here. So that's why we chose this lot. Um, I'm playing around right now with um, the new roof types and, uh, or not roof types, but how to figure out to do the roof. And if you didn't notice, I used the doggy doors and just sided them up to do the, um, the to make it look like a garage door. I think it turned out pretty well. So um, I did want to talk a little bit more about the family while I'm working on this um, outdoor of this house. Um, if you don't recall, Mama Miller is um, recently divorced. They had a pretty messy divorce, um, and she got a, a rather large settlement from her husband to basically go away and um, and start over. So he gave her as you know much money as she needed to build this new home in Brindleton Bay, and also to um, to buy a vet clinic because she is this, an aspiring vet and so she wants to buy a vet clinic so that's what we're gonna do also um, I do get them a, a little beagle I don't I don't think he was in cast but I do um, I did make him I don't know if it was in the cast video or not I might have missed it but we have a little beagle named Beagle Bailey and I had always said that I just felt like he was the um, the perfect dog for them so, um, just taking a break to talk about this pergola, um, in the video, there was a, per or in the photo that I saw, there was a pergola leading up to the front door and I just loved the way that it looked. So I had to do it and I think it turned out great. So I might do a little how to, um, video on how I built the pergola because it was, um, a, quite a few steps, but I think it turned out looking really amazing, like a little actual, like uh, I don't know if you'd call it a pergola or a like a trellis or something, but it definitely works, I think, especially when the home is finished. So back to the the, the people. Um, Constance is the daughter. She, um, oh, I didn't finish talking about Mama. Mama Miller loves animals, so she wants to be a vet. She also loves to be outside, so I think Renoton Bay area is going to be perfect for them. There's a lot of stuff to do, walking your dog, um, 
going down to the seaside and I haven't even begun to look in this town guys like because I've been trying to not play without recording and I just haven't had time to record because my family's been home all weekend so <laughs> there's not been a lot of of me actually playing the game so I'm really looking forward to this with you guys um, Constance is the oldest daughter she's a teenager she's really into photography so I think the new Simstagram um, skill is going to be great for her to use and play around with I'm really looking forward to to having her kind of be the um, her be the the person who like manages this Instagram for her pets. Um, I don't know if Beagle Bailey is going to be this Instagram star, but it's definitely an option. And she, um, you know, she's a good girl. She she does her homework. She helps her mom around the house and the vet clinic, and and um, you know she helps with her little sister who looks up to her so much. Speaking of Ariel, is the littlest sister. She loves her mom and looks up to her sister. Like I said, she loves cats though. So we will be adopting a cat soon in the game, um, and. She She's kind of a tomboy, but she loves the color pink. So she's kind of like my daughter in that she loves to run around and play outside and she loves to play with the dogs and she's not afraid to get dirty, but she also loves like all things pink and she is very like feminine. Um, I think she will grow into her femininity as she gets older. Right now, she's just more focused on having a good time and playing outside. Um, she does want to be a vet when she grows up. So mom got her a little set. Um, to play doctor and I'm looking forward to honing that skill for her and just her growing up knowing that, that she's going to take over the vet business from her mom. So I did go ahead and already play the first episode of this live on Twitch. I will be streaming it over there probably most of the time. Um, I just feel like you can get so much more done when you're live because you can play for longer times. So you don't have to worry about editing. So definitely follow me over on Twitch. I will link my first episode and my Twitch link in the description below so you guys can come over and follow me over on Twitch so you can see this stuff live when it's happening. Um, also, I am worked already. Um, I already remodeled the vet clinic that she purchased in the first episode. It's like the one that comes with Brenda Bay. I just wanted to jump in and play some of the game because I hadn't played any of the vet stuff. So um, I remodeled that last night, and I will have that speed build up on the channel as well in the next week sometime. And um, I do upgrowth on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I'm thinking we'll do like the pets um, cast meet the Millers maybe on, um, I don't know yet, maybe Mondays. Um, I think Mondays might work if I do it in the afternoon. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to see and kind of play by ear. But if not, if I can't figure out another day of the week to do it, I'll just do Upgrowth and Meet the Millers um, on, you know, one on Tuesday and one on Thursday, just depending. So um, those are the two Let's Plays that I'm playing over on Twitch. Other, um, I also play some other games uh, over on Twitch, kind of a more of a variety. I like to play some horror stuff on Saturdays. I call it Saturday Night Scream. Um, um so, and then I just do random streams too. So definitely follow me over there, guys. That's where I'm putting up most of my um, Let's Play content that's brand new. That's where it's going first. Um, also, I started a Me, and as soon as I get... Um, I have a little series that I want to play on there as well. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting to get a little more viewership over there before I start creating content for there regularly. So that's all of the updates with me on um, the different various platforms that I'm streaming and playing on so that you guys can find me. Um, I will go back to talking about the house now. Um, I had a lot of fun trying to play around with this um, <laughs> these vines growing up the side. This wasn't in the house, in the picture of the house. Um, I wanted to kind of do it because I've done it in other homes and I like the way that it looks. Um, I do love these, the garden set, that fan made um, stuff pack, the garden stuff or whatever. That stuff is so amazing and I use it in almost every build that I do. Farmhouse Chic is kind of my favorite style. So it's definitely a, um, a good look. So um, I'm completed the house basically. I do do a little bit more landscaping um, in the home. I put in a nice pool in a minute um, and then we start on furnishings. 
inside the house, and I'll start talking about that. But can we just talk about how beautiful Brindleton Bay, Brindleton Bay is for a minute? Like, it is so beautiful. I love the fall colors. I love the ocean views, and I haven't even gone to the, the island yet. Um, I hope to do that in the next episode of this game. Here's me trying to make the pool and I'm like halfway through I'm like this should be the shape of a bone. So I made it into a little bone shaped pool. I love it. I think it's great. That um, pool water is Bakey Gaming's um, non-transparent pool water over on Mod The Sims guys. Go follow him. He does really amazing effects work. Um, I, I love everything he puts out and I download, almost, I think I've downloaded, he unlocks things and does um, like ducks and fish and I'm trying to think what else. Uh, just so much stuff. He did some really cute stuff for our Simblarine, um, like some graves that have fog and stuff. So definitely check him out. He's one of my favorite creators. Um, and so here I am inside the house now. I will apologize for I struggled with the floor plan here because my inspiration came from a photo of an outside of a house. I did not like the inside of the house the way that it was decorated. The outside was so cute but the, out, the inside was just not my style and I didn't want to do it. So um, a lot of times I find floor plans on Pinterest and I use them as inspiration for how to set up the house, especially if it's like something that's uh, particularly difficult depending on the um, on the, outs, the exterior, you know. So um, I usually try to find some floor plans and then I adjust them for my needs. Um, in this case, I didn't have floor plans. I just had the outside of the house, like how it looked, and then I was left to interpret the inside for my own. So I do apologize for I play around with it so much, but I do eventually figure out a way that works, I think, perfectly for our family. And it turns out to have three bedrooms, which is all we really need. You know, we have three. We have a single mom with two daughters. Um, there is a bedroom downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. The master is upstairs in the corner over there with all the windows. Um, it does want to be a tiny bit bigger and it is very beautiful in the end. I think it worked out very well. Um, the master bath is a little on the small side. Um, and I say that just because I wasn't able to fit a tub inside of the master bath. I like to take baths. So if it was me, I'd be really sad if I didn't have a tub. But in The Sims, it takes them so long to take baths and I just felt like um, the mom's probably going to be working really hard at the shelf at the vet clinic she's not going to have time to take leisurely baths and if she does want to take baths there's two other bathrooms in this house two other full bathrooms so the other upstairs bathroom is a full bathroom it has a t tub shower combo and it's basically the youngest daughter's um, bathroom she sleeps upstairs um, and it has, like I said, the full combo. So here I am trying to figure out how to put these windows in, these window seats. I totally forgot about them after until after I was done building. So I had to re remodel the house to get it to work. But thankfully, I wasn't completely done, so it didn't take too long to do. Um, I just did some a little bit of finagling, and voila, it was done. And I love these window seats. They're probably, if I had to pick one object that was my favorite, I think that these are these would be it because they're just so different than anything we have so far and I try to cop I try to make them all the time in game before with like bump outs with like little benches and stuff so I'm really excited that we finally have like legitimate things <laughs> I'm sorry the video is a quite long this build took me about three hours um, and I didn't even furnish it that much because, I mean, I furnished it, but there was a lot that I didn't furnish and there's not as much clutter as I usually put in my homes because like I said, I don't have a lot of custom content in this game. I have just some Maxis match things that I found and, um, and whatnot. So here is the, um, I think this is the upstairs bathroom. Yeah, I decided to go with the big sink so mom would have room to get ready and then a shower. So I do rearrange it, but it works out. Um, and as I was thinking about the bathrooms, downstairs there's a full bathroom that only has a tub and not a shower. So I felt like it was a good, you know, um, 
trying to think of the word compromise to have one shower, one bathroom with just a shower, one bathroom with just a tub, and now everybody can be happy. So basically everyone has their own bathroom except for my teenager. She has to share hers with guests because it's on the main floor. So, um, I mean, the main guest bathroom, I guess, would be the upstairs bathroom that's in the hall, but the downstairs one is is, you know, it's right there on the main floor. So, um, I had to cheat some money because I ran out here. Like I said, I wanted to be able to build without, uh, limits. Um, I was able to stay within the budget that I had set after demolishing the original vet clinic and then the extra 10,000 that I added to it when I first purchased it. I was able to build everything inside the vet clinic that I wanted to. So it has some some furnishing left to do, especially outside. We got to work on some landscaping, but it's for the most part completed. This is the youngest daughter's room. Um, I like the elephants kind of theme. Like I said, she loves pink. So we went with like a pink pink and peach and uh, corally color for her. I think coral works good because they are near the beach. And like I said, she loves kitty cats, so she has cats decorating her room. She just loves little kitty cats. Um, so we definitely have to get her a little cat. I imagine her having like a little white cat that is like the precious cat from um, the aristocrats, you know, like What's her name? Duchess. No, Duchess was the mom. What was the little one's name? I don't remember. Um, I can't think of her name. It's been so long since I've seen seen that movie. It's such a cute movie. A lot of people are making the little aristocrats. So I probably or cats. I probably won't do exactly that, but like that's the idea that I feel like she would have. Like she's such a little tomboy, but she's gonna have like this little puffy pampered kitten which is going to be adorable. So I used a little bit of the bedroom from the set that came, the pre-made room. I thought it was very nice and kind of country feeling. And I think that that kind of throws back to where they come from. They come from a little bit more of like the mountainous region and they come down here to the ocean and they love it. So this is a part of my game where I got really frustrated because none of my beds were working. I have updated um, my Sims 4 Studio and then I fixed the beds for cats and dogs, so I'm hoping um, I can go back in there and switch them out if I choose to, and it will work. So, um, you know, I was a little discouraged that I couldn't use the beds that I like to use, a lot of the beds and the couches, even. Um, I don't have that many couches in my game, but the couches, uh, the custom content couches that I had wouldn't work, so um, I did have to use the ones that came with the new pack, which isn't bad. They, they have some really cute furniture that came with the pack. You can definitely tell that it's an expansion pack because there's plenty of items that came with it, um, lots of hairs and those curly hairs are so pretty, and I might actually go in and let mom grow her hair out now that she's a woman on her own. She's single. Maybe she's looking for a date. I don't know. I thought it might be nice to give her a makeover after the holidays, you know, like when, when it's Christmas time after they've been in town for a little while and she's kind of coming to her own. So I'm really looking forward to the growth and the story that gets told with this family. They are, I just fell in love with them and they were just supposed to be like an autumn look book and it just became so much more. And I've really enjoyed getting to know them and like creating this backstory for their family. I think that they are one of my favorite families right now and I it's really hard for me to not play and I'm just trying really hard to make sure that I record everything for you guys so that you can come along with the journey with the Millers and their new life in Brindleton Bay. So I love the new curtains that come with the pack. Guys, they're so beautiful. I think that, um, I, I don't know. That, one thing that really annoys me about the Sims franchise people is that a lot of their, um, colors are almost match like they're they match but they're not exactly the same and it drives me crazy and I use these counters and then they're broken I think I'm, I'm gonna have to fix them or something because they weren't working for me last night whenever I was building the house I tried to or building the vet I tried to get them to fix some lunch or fix some breakfast or something and she wasn't able to so I played around with the layout of the kitchen for a while and my husband came by and he said how are they supposed to reach those cabinets I said you're not they're not supposed to reach the cabinets they're just for looks <laughs> they're just to fill up the wall like I like the bigger wall height I don't like the biggest one because it's just so much 
space, but I like the second highest because it makes you feel like you're not, like, like the walls aren't getting on, <laughs> down on you, but then the stems are so short that it really is a pretty tall for them at the second height so there's no way they can reach those cabinets it's a good thing they're just for decoration they don't actually have to use them so I moved around these lights to look like they were in the tile and I think that was a cute idea to use I love my tile backsplash it's one of it's one of the things that I, I don't know if I could play the game without because I'm so used to just throwing it in there so, but I love these blue counters. I feel like it really brings in the blue from the outside of the house and um, kind of ties it all together. I did a lot of the sunny yellow colors. I feel like the ocean blues and sunny yellows just are my idea of what beachy, um, coastal kind of colors are. So, I'm not as much of a, let's, like a fan of like reds and like the red and blue or the red and white or whatever that you see a lot when you see these coastal homes. I'm more of the, the sunny yellow and ocean blue kind of feel is my preference. Um, not that I don't like red thrown in here and there. Red, red always looks great with blue, but, um, I love this little table. I don't know why I stopped for so long. I don't know what I was doing. Probably talking to my husband or something. I'm um, sorry. I, I always, I don't edit the speed builds because it takes so long to go through and find those moments of like, oh, I waited too long between this and that. But um, I do apologize for you guys. If you're like me, you probably mute these things and watch them on three times speed or two times speed anyways. That's how I usually watch really long speed builds, especially if they don't have voiceovers. I don't usually do voiceovers this long, so I'm proud of myself. So my throat's been hurting recently. I think I had strep or something. I usually get tonsillitis like every single year, but anyways, um, here I am trying to fit in some books to make these guys look a little smarter and give them something to do. Um, there's also a little office nook downstairs. There it is. You saw it briefly. And I also put some doggy items down there as well. That is where the little beagle Bailey sleeps. Um, I just love this family and this house. I hope that you guys do too. It's one of my favorite builds, especially, especially the outside. I worked really hard to make it look like the picture. Um, if only, if only we could do like alternate um, heights for the terrain and having different heights of foundations, it would have been perfect. It's <laughs> so much easier to create for you guys. There's the little beetle ba Beagle Bailey stuff. And then I also pop outside to do that decoration next. But first, a couple more little finishing touches, a little corner shelf, and some flowers. And that's going to be it. We're getting towards the end, so I will be wrapping up for you guys soon. I do want to invite you again to please come follow me on Twitch. Um, I do stream over there, and I'm very active over there, so I'd love to see you all follow me over there as well. And on Vidme, as I have some really great plans for Vidme, but I want to be verified before I start spending a lot of time over there. I'm up, currently uploading my Road to Fame um, series over there right now. I also have some stuff in the works for that. So I'm looking forward to that. There'll be a new episode of this Instagram Road to Fame mod on my channel this week as well. I hope that you guys have a fantabulous week and I hope that you like this video. You give it a thumbs up and if you like me and want to be my friend, please subscribe to the channel. Um, go ahead and watch to the end. I have a cute little outro and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye.